All right, so today we are going to talk about the wild world of WordPress plugins. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, but seriously, it's basically a plugin is a little bit of code that a very smart person made, and it's going to enhance your website somehow. So whether it's to add a forum to your page or something even more basic, like adding a Facebook like button to your page, a plugin is really just something to enhance the experience of all the visitors to your site. There's a lot of free plugins and there's a lot of paid plugins. I'm going to tell you the difference here. Free plugins are generally available on wordpress.org slash plugins. You can also install them directly from the back end of your WordPress site. But this is the main way to find them uh, if you're just browsing around looking for some new stuff. So I'm going to go and use the search button here. And we're just going to say, for example, that we want to add a Facebook button to our uh, website. So Facebook button. And we'll see what comes up. So it looks like there's a ton of options. And they even have ratings. And we'll just choose Facebook like button plugin. And as you can see, it's literally just a plugin. I don't know this plugin, to be honest, and haven't used it, but I'm just using it as an example. As you can see, it's really just a simple way to install a plugin and you'll get one of those fun Facebook like buttons. A helpful thing is it shows you screenshots, it'll show you exactly what it'll look like on your page, as well as the background uh, or the back end look of it. So as you can see right here, it has a standard like button that you'll probably see on a lot of websites and you can choose to have it display at the bottom or the top of every post. So that's pretty useful. Uh, and we're just gonna go back, just hit the back button a couple times, and we're gonna take a closer look at all the plugin directory has to offer. So over here, it shows you the most popular face, uh, WordPress plugins. And if you don't know what all these are, then I would suggest checking them out one by one if you're interested. But in general, a lot of them are to make your site show up better in search results and to load faster. That seems to be the, be the most popular things that plugins do. So the most popular one by far is the all-in-one SEO pack, which is the search engine optimization. And all-in-one SEO is a popular tool that basically lists your site properly with Google and Bing and all those search engines. Uh, contact form seven right here is a simple way to add a contact form to your website. So you can have a contact us page and just paste in a little bit of code and it will give you a contact button uh, or form and it'll just shoot you an email anytime someone fills it out. And I could go in a little bit deeper, but we're gonna save that for the advanced course in WordPress. But in general, it's worth checking out all these popular free uh, plugins there's a few really good ones, like even Facebook made an official one right here, which you should check out, uh, which is really great for adding in a ton of options and other cool stuff. So as you can see, you can post your status right to your Facebook timeline and all that good stuff, add a bunch of buttons and widgets and even get some customization going. So that's a lot of fun. As I mentioned at the start of this lesson, there's actually a way to pay for plugins. So you may think that, why would I pay for plugins? There's already so many free ones. But honestly, there's some really good paid plugins that you won't find on the free area. The most popular uh, place to find these premium plugins, I would say, is Code Canyon, which is codecanyon.net. All I did was go to Code Canyon, and then I just clicked on this WordPress button right here. And that brings up all of the WordPress plugins. And it does a ton of stuff, a lot of stuff you're not gonna find in other places. Um, things like being able to create an entire petition, if that's your thing, if you wanna have that. Uh, it has a lot of things that help you put ads into your website properly. It will do um, event registration, subscriptions to magazines. You can do just about anything. Uh, I would definitely suggest checking out Code Canyon as well. So just to give you an example, we'll click on Eventbrite City Events. And so this is a way to basically bring Eventbrite into your website. And you can check out what that's all about by clicking the live preview button right here. 
and it typically loads up a demo site and will show you sort of a listing of all your Eventbrite stuff. So that's just one example. We're going to go back and you can see that it does a ton of other stuff. So let's look at the most popular and you can do that by sorting it by sales. And you can see that one of them is called Uber Menu, which has 17,000 sales at $16 a pop. And that's about the standard price. I'd say don't pay more than 20 or $30 for a premium plugin, but most are between five and 15, I'd say. Uh, so there's one called Uber Menu, which makes a really fun menu. So when you drop, do the drop down, it'll show you a bunch of things like a Google map and all that good stuff. But we're not gonna go into the details here. You, I just wanted to show you so you can see all of the various pretty cool premium plugins you can have. Uh, and finally, I mentioned that you can install plugins direct from your own site. And this only works for installing free plugins. If you want to install paid plugins, you need to buy them and then download the plugin in .zip format. And then you'll just click over here. So see how I say plugins? You can just, just click add new. And let's imagine we already paid for a plugin. All we would do is hit upload and then we'll hit browse and then we'll just choose the .zip uh, file or folder, I guess I should say. But let's say we want to just install some free plugins. We can just hit featured or any of these other ones and you can install right from here. So let's say we want to install something called Jetpack, which is run by the WordPress people. So you can just hit install now. It'll say, are you sure you want to install? And you can just hit OK. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection. But basically it's downloading a .zip file from somewhere else, as you can see right here. And you can either activate it immediately or go back to your plugin installer. We're going to hit activate plugin just so I can show you what it looks like. And Jetpack is a really useful tool, uh, but you should check that out on your own. And basically it's already activated right now. You can now go into settings. You can click on settings and it'll show you all the different stuff that Jetpack can do. So there's a ton of things you can do from having a mobile theme, which is a design that looks nice on a smartphone, to infinite scroll, which means you can scroll your website as endlessly. Uh, just by going down to the bottom of the page and a few other things. But basically a lot of the, this stuff is a little more technical and you don't need to worry about it yet since you're in the beginner's course. But I definitely recommend choosing some of the more popular plugins and not buying a premium plugin until you absolutely know you can't find it for free. It's always worth doing your due diligence if it's going to save you a few bucks here and there. But that's about it, and I hope you learned about plugins and that you're excited to enhance your, web, your WordPress site. Thanks.